Hey ladies and gentlemen, what's up? This is Papa Bale and welcome to the channel. Um, we're looking at a pulse motor right here and I'd really like to explain about this one. Okay, so there are 12 coils. Six of them are close within an inch of the rotor. The other six are two two and a half inches back like on the very edge of their magnetic influence or you know a different range of magnetic influence so the ones that are really close have the really intense magnetic field and the ones that are farther apart are a little bit, a bit more spaced out so um, yes that's the that's the objective. I have all the capacitors hooked up to the outer coils and they're in a series circuit separate from the other six. But they all end up being together um, pretty much. I mean, for all that it's worth, I'll explain the drive circuit real quick. You got the cup and you got the blade okay now the cup is hooked up to a transformer which gives it 135 volts right here now it both plugs in and dumps into the transformer and that transformer is hooked to the power supply now the power supply has two outlets, okay? Now the other outlet to the power supply, which will run on this meter right here, is hooked to the blade right there. Okay, now the max on the blade is 25 volts. And the only amount that ever goes through the cup is 135 volts. Now, they each have a one millimeter coil. Um, yeah, the, the cup has this big coil that has a lot of turns in it. I mean, it's not really, really big, but it's got a lot of turns in it. Um, and this little coil over here with a core in it, that's, that's the cup. That's 135 volts right there. Now this other circuit, the blade, is hooked directly to the power supply. It goes up. You got your one millimeter coil. You got your four filer coil. There's at least 200 turns in there, but it's only 50 turns a piece. And it's supposed to be really, really strong in regards to speed. And then this regular 32 gauge coil, single file. And, oh yeah, the, the capacitor circuit has two cores in it, but it's really far away, so it doesn't really make that huge of a difference. But it makes a little bit of a difference. So I'm going to jack it all the way up. <clears throat> to 25 volts. Now it's 135 and 25 actively affecting this at the same time. Or it should be. Or it's like 135 plus one. Plus 25 is 160 volts. Could be like that. Look at his shake. Wow, look at his shake. That is going really, really fast. Backing it down. Boom. 
Now the capacitance is spent. Um, I think I need to back out the coils, all the like, make them uniform around the rotor, but like a little bit farther and a little bit closer. But that works for speed. <laughs> awesome. Totally awesome. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, please in the comments. And otherwise, have a good day. Peace out. Please subscribe. Bye now.